find the defendant guilty of first degree murder by the verdict is in. Michael Astorga is guilty of killing Bernalillo County Sheriff's Deputy James McGrain. Good evening. After deliberating for nearly two full days, jurors believed beyond a reasonable doubt that Michael Astorga pulled the trigger, killing Deputy McGrain in Tijeras in 2006. News 13's Maria Medina is live at District Court. Maria. And Dick, what an emotional ride for everyone involved for the last four years. And now finally, there's closure. We find the defendant guilty of first degree murder. Tears in the courtroom as the verdict is read. From the McGrains who lost their son more than four years ago during his last traffic stop, and for those in the law enforcement community who lost one of their own, they say justice has finally been served. They understood what happened. And we got justice for Jimmy, and that's what matters most to us. I feel safe. I love this system, this country, and it did what it was supposed to do. As the judge read the guilty verdict, Astorga's attorney threw his hands to his face. Astorga's family did not show much emotion. My son looked me square in the eye and said, I am innocent, and that's all I need to know. Prosecutors believed Astorga's motive to kill was to stop Deputy McGrain from sending him to jail. He'd had a warrant out for his arrest for allegedly killing his childhood friend months before and had changed his identity. And uh, we lost. A couple jurors told lawyers they came to their decision because they questioned why Astorga's alibi witnesses waited years to come forward. But Astorga still claims he's innocent. He was really disturbed by it. But uh, as he said to me, you know, Gary, I told you from day one I was innocent. I'm still innocent. I don't care what they say. And, you know, if they want to kill me for that, I guess that's the way life is. They agreed it was a very difficult case. Uh, they had to rely on circumstantial evidence. In the end, the jury believed Astorga pulled the trigger. Their decision gives the community, law enforcement, and the McGrains a reason to heal, knowing their son's killer will never be free to walk the streets their son died protecting. <laughs> And jurors found Astorga guilty on all counts, including tampering with evidence for hiding his truck and getting rid of the murder weapon. Dick? All right, Maria. A source tells News 13 that the turning point for the jury was when the DA confronted one of Astorga's alibi witnesses with a medical record showing that the witness gave the wrong day when she said Astorga was at her house at the time of the murder.